Introducing Verruckt Dinky Timian. So right off the bat, you're going to notice that's an odd title, but there's a little bit more depth to how odd it is. Like I said, you probably already noticed it. So the, the actual obvious thing is that, well, there's an omelette. Just, just to close it out. Umlaut. Umlaut. Okay, I got that wrong. It's an umlaut. And this umlaut, I'm pretty sure it makes it, instead of ukt, it's verrukt, right? Instead of verrukt, it's verrukt. And you can see in the title, it's actually named as such, verrukt. And then the next slightly odd detail is the T, which is just capitalized. So I guess that's a dude's name, right? It's like verrukt, dinky, maybe those are two adjectives. Timian being some dude's name. Yeah, who knows? Because, you know, I haven't played the game yet, right? <laughs> I definitely have not played it. But for transparency, I have actually opened the game to make sure it is not loud on startup. So there's no title, no thumbnail, so to speak. That's what I meant by title. There's no, like, image that conveys what you're about to go through. The description is pretty sparse. It simply says, collaboration with Yawning Duck at SoundCloud. So this is actually... It doesn't seem like it, but this is pretty different than before. Usually the collaborators are from Newgrounds. This collaborator is from SoundCloud. From the ground to the cloud. He's moving on up. This uses arrows. That's it, just arrows. So, hashtag other, which means this is not quite an arcade game. But this was still, as many others, a, a game maker game. And it was made November 5th, 2012. And we'll get to the other analytics and comments later. Because for now, we gotta experience the game. J. Clover, Tom Roy. And then, yeah, that's the, there's some flash in there, right? Maybe that's like the other attribute that I gotta give to J. Clover. He really does like flashing lights. So this is clearly a, a CRT monitor that would probably hypnotize a zombie from Half-Life one, I mean, I'm not sure about two. There is no confirmation about two. But one, yeah, it would, it would hypnotize a zombie in their tracks. Because everyone knows the scene I'm talking about, right? Because everyone has played Half-Life 1, right? Because it's everyone's played one of the most influential first-person shooters of all time. Arguably the very game that gave Valve their sort of prominence before they launched Steam, you know, using Half-Life 2. And, and Ryan, am I correct? Or, uh, all right. And here... The U with the umlaut, does this just not exist? It's uh, replaced by an apostrophe. Just a massive detail that I felt if this were a Kojima game, he would remind you about it like once every 20 minutes. Uh, press start. I don't have a start button, so I'm just going to press an arrow. Okay, I'm going to press space. Okay, I'm going to press enter. I, I think pressing the WASD keys work there. Okay. Once upon a time, on a lovely day like today, while the cars were mushing past, the cats were meows were rising, the dogs, the birds were singing, the cows were mooing, except the cows weren't moving because there were more. A mouse looked at the sky, the mouse asked the sky, I wish I could fly. The sky replied, why yes you do. The mouse could tell was silly, but decided to go on a journey of sorts in order to learn how to fly. To ask the birds and to ask the dragonflies, to ask the cows, as whom did not exist, then to ask the bees how, how can I fly? But nobody replied. Okay, so this is uh, Germa's mouse game. This is the, the one mouse VTuber everyone knows from Australia. I can't believe I just, I, how do I know this much about VTubers? And you know what? You know what? The description was correct. Only arrows work. And you know what? I feel I need to wear sunglasses for this game. Mouse, I want to learn to fly. Bird, why yes, I believe you do. I want to learn to fly? Why yes, I believe you do. Okay, this, this might be the actual, I'm thinking of like, you know, the rainbow, right? Roy G. Biv. And, and how uh, I pushed enter and it actually brought me to the scene. Okay. I'm thinking how like in Roy G. Biv, it's supposed to be, you start, the, the first colors are the ones that we are less, less sensitive towards. And then the, the end of the, the Biv is where we start to become very sensitive, right? And this is blue. So this is on the Biv end of the spectrum. Yeah. I, I want to learn to fly. Yes, apparently you do. Yes, I would like to fly too, but without the flashing CRT monitor. 
makes it look like in a serial experiments lane, techno lies, uh, fusion with a dance course attached to it because uh, I want to get down with the mice and the mouse. Because my favorite mouse, what, what do you think my favorite mouse is? Oh yeah, it's, it's super light, dude. Yeah, because everyone recommends it. Yes, apparently, yes. So let me uh, actually push enter. The stars, are they stars or are they butterflies? Or is it just any flying animal, anything that you could possibly muster up that I just want to pour actual mustard on them, muster them up, just like with applesauce. Is, uh, did I do that? Did I just replace mustard day with applesauce day? Yeah, you bet your sweet bivy I did get it because instead of bippy, it's bivy because I just made a reference to biv. You know, why did I make a reference to biv? Because of the CRT monitors. Because I'm a Smash Bros player. Oh, but that, that also means I'm canceled. I think that's, that's where I cut it off. I think that's when it doesn't even matter what else I say at this point because I'm I'm gonna enter like a 2015 debate about a certain, let's say, socio-political issues, and then it's gonna like kind of age poorly when you realize the figures who were involved in it. You, know, you know what I'm talking about. You know, everyone knows what I'm talking about. Um, I hope you do. Hey, if you don't, it's just it's fine. But it's like, oh man, there's some people who don't know the history. You know, <laughs> so I just, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just talking. I'm just talking about like socio-political issues uh, of uh, surrounding Twitch streamers, right? The most important demographic. The same demographic that maybe, uh, maybe I'm a part of. Am I? But I'm not, I'm barely a streamer. I'm barely anyone. For all I know, I'm just talking to myself. This is the void. This is, this is the point where I, I'm, I'm actually gonna put on my glasses with reflective rims to hopefully send some of these Blu-rays back to the PS5 where they came from. Because I need a Blu-ray player, actually. And I also probably need a PS5. Because I need to play some PS games. I need to play Bloodborne. I need to play, um... I'm mashing my keyboard at this point. I need to play Bloodborne. I need to play, like, the God of War games. And then I need to play Bloodborne again, because apparently it's that much of a masterpiece. I don't even know what you do in Dark Souls. I'm gonna pretend that you, uh, actually build multiple characters. Yeah, my first character, it's a uh, dude with a shield and a sword. And then the second character, it's a dude with like poisonous arrows. And then my third character, it's a dude who actually casts fire spells. And then, uh, by the way, what, uh, what do you think is the uh, most important game released in 2023? Oh, it's Baldur's Gate. Yeah, Baldur's Gate is such a masterpiece. Um, I actually played it three times, right? Uh, for my first character in Baldur's Gate, I just made a dude with the shield and the sword. And then for my second <laughs> character, I just made a dude with poisonous arrows. And then I realized that my choices actually mattered in that game too. And then for my third game, I for my third playthrough, I would do the I did a dude with uh, fire spells. I'm just am I joking? Am I joking about the variety game? Is that a meta commentary? Did I just do that? Did I just make a meta commentary in the current state of video game industry? <laughs> did I just do that? Is that ironic? Am I being ironic about the standard of writing that we? have that we now expect from a game, not a game, I'm sorry, a series like Marvel's Avengers, Avengers, Revengers. Oh, I actually reached the end. Not the actual one, like the end of this. All right, time to go to the other side. Hey, does anyone ever think like, can I, can a mouse like just smoke? Just like, like anything? Because people have seen that picture, right? The mouse just smoking, smoking uh, by the, the bonfire, not literally a bonfire, because I, I don't want to mention anything with with the drug content in it because that's not that's not who i am all right i believe in uh in fugazi i believe in minor threats i believe in koriki i believe in the aesthetics right but that's the irony that's the whole irony of it ah uh, there's like i'm i'm talking like two layers down right i'm sorry i was, I was just uh, oh here a mouse tell me how to fly b good question and when I say B, it's the animal. So I pushed enter. Mouse. Oh, mouse. You're forgetting something. Something very important. You know what it is, mouse? Something we almost, almost learn. But you are far behind in, far behind in the game. How far are you going to go, mouse? Oh, now it's red, dude. We went to the other side of the rainbow spectrum and I brought up red at the beginning when I mentioned Roy G. Biv and now we're on the Roy and... I don't want to, I don't want to be in this, this end. I didn't get to read that, man. I did not get to read. Okay, can I like skip this? So if I push it, oh. Okay, so 
<clears throat> this time I'm actually gonna try to like finish the game quick. I'm gonna speed run it. You're gonna actually see this on speedruns.com. It's gonna be approved by the only moderator for uh, the Half-Life Alex game. Oh, that's the first time I've seen the bird. And then the bird disappears because he flew off. Because he's trying to taunt the mouse. Because this game is actually... Well, I don't know why we're like looking at this through a CRT, but you can probably assume, right? The the mouse is is probably, I mean, so that's a bee or it's a fly. Okay. The mouse is probably trying to think like, um, why are they in the story that I barely remember, right? Because the, the mouse is asking, why do I want to fly? Good question. Why, why does the mouse want to fly? And it seems like the mouse is, it's the bee. Okay, I'm going to the right. Now everything's gonna change. Choices matter. So this is so, just so much easier to, uh, I don't know, is it like, like, Jake, take me back. So I don't think there's anything else to do there, right? I don't wanna be in the sand. You know what, you know, you know, maybe what I'm supposed to do is interpret that as saying he, the mouse doesn't wanna go to the sides of the TV. All right, once upon a time, so I'm gonna read it again to make sure I get, okay. Am I going to leave that in the video? Am I going to leave the fact that I just read it again? I mean, what happens is... Oh, the cow does not exist. Look at that. Whoa. Why does the cow not exist? Even though the cows were simply mentioned. I guess, like, that's how you... Fill up the end that you can't show the mouse in. Or that, that you don't want the player to go to. Yeah, that's one way to do it. So, of course, I'm going to the other side to ask a bunch of pointless questions. That apparently even the mouse doesn't understand why they're asking them. So, the mouse is not sure why it wants to ask this question, right? Like, it, I want to learn how to fly, right? That seems like a demand. But the mouse is like, why do I want to know that? And simply the other characters in the story are acknowledging that this is the demand that the mouse has uh, put forth. But it seems like the mouse is questioning it, questioning this, uh, tell me how to fly a good question. It seems like the mouse is questioning this simply because it, it feels a little bit postmodern, that as if the mouse does not know why they're in this story and is wondering why is checking out trying to next time I'm gonna be in this. Okay, am I? So I don't know. I don't know if I'm missing something. What is the end? Because I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I. You can't. I, like I wouldn't know what to do with the cow. I doubt, like, I'm gonna go ask, like, the two questions and then try to go to the cow and it'll be different. Like, that. that's kind of what I did before. It just didn't really seem that way. So I'm going to, I'm gonna, like, take a step back. Just, you know, do the community review and then, like, jump back in. See if there's anything I could have done different. But, um, I don't know if I said it very well. It just seems like the mouse is cognizant that they're in a story to an extent. And they're wondering, like, why is that my part? Why uh, why do I, as a mouse, even want to learn how to fly? And they're wondering, of course, simply, like, why is that? Yeah. Because the mouse themselves just thinks it's an outlandish demand for a mouse to make, perhaps. Or because they're questioning their place in the story of some sort, right? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just... Maybe I'm too, like... I play too much Earthbound. And a little bit of pathologic too. So to get through the views and likes, this is a very small amount. 1.7 thousand views and three likes. So compare this to Asake. Asake, 4.7 thousand views and 11 likes. And of course, this is even much less so than Nguyen Spectre which, as I also mentioned, had reached a little bit of, of fame recently. Not recent. I'm sorry, not recently, like eight years ago. It has 38,000 views and 126 likes. It's a, just a massive decline. But I'm not, I'm not saying that in terms of quality. I'm saying that in terms of what people are paying attention to. It's, it's I mean, a little bit strange, right? It's like the New Inspector dudes hopped on to this one then they went to go to the Asake, and then they went to go, and, and then they just went. Yeah, they just went. And maybe like a few stuck around for Verupt, but yeah, that's about it. So comments. And then only three this time, so real quick. Old deleted profile, which I, I can't figure out if that's a real username 
or if that's uh, something Game Jolt does when a profile is simply deleted. Very verrouped indeed. Didn't really get it. The mouse was cute though, smiley face. Thankfully short, as sound and vision are bound to drive you crazy if consumed over a long period of time. P.S. Maybe add some screenshots of the cute mouse. Yeah, I could see uh, the mouse being someone's profile picture, as I kind of briefly mentioned. I also really... I was going to do this. I was going to look up what verrouped meant. And I I don't think the sound is that crazy, but the the visuals are too much for the viewer, yeah. Again, I think I'm actually going to... Oh my god. I think I'm actually going to decrease the brightness of of the the game like i don't think i can't really sub like expect people to be subjected to that yeah like i i don't want to subject myself to that is kind of what i'm saying so verrucht german meaning crazy or insane and of course this is a a water park in kansas city putting the water park aside yeah pretty much means crazy or mad so we have crazy and now we got to know what dinky means Hopefully that's not a slur. Dinky, adjective, of small size or consequence, insignificant. And the other descriptions are the same. Well, pretty and neat, fashionable or well-dressed. Oh, oh, so of course, the well-dressed Timian. Crazy well-dressed. So what's Timian? Yes, that is the herb. I mean, we all knew that. Timian translation. Timian in English. Okay. And we got the RNA. There's a DNA. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Time, timian, which is I uh, apparently just a reference to the herb used to season food, and that's just how you say it in German, right? Because this is translated from from German. Password German English. To, why what does the password mean? Timian, a type of sweet smelling herb used to season food, from the. German English dictionary. Okay, what about time? Unless it's just, you know, another way of like the concept of time, but I don't think that's what it is referring to. The name of the genus of fish. I hope that's how you say genus. Okay, well, that's a fish. Okay, here, here's the history of it. Time is indigenous to the Mediterranean region. Wild thyme grows in the Levant, where it might have been first cultivated. Ancient Egyptians used thyme for embalming. The ancient Greeks used it in their baths and burnt it as incense in their temples, believing it was a source of courage. The spread of thyme throughout Europe was thought to be due to the Romans, as they used it to purify the rooms and to give an, ar an aromatic flavor to cheese and liquors. In the European Middle Ages, the herb was placed beneath pillows to aid sleep and ward off nightmares. In this period, women also gave knights and warriors gifts that included thyme leaves as, in, as it was believed to bring courage to the bearer. Thyme was also used as incense to place in coffins during funerals. It was supposed to assure passage into the next life. Okay, so this is maybe that's meaning, meaning crazy or mad. Dinky meaning insignificant and timian meaning just this herb like a crazy insignificant herb which uh which is interesting because i think most people would not consider this herb to be insignificant you know considering the history of it or crazy because it's a source of courage of course but it is very verruked indeed yeah that is i, I tip my hat to you a uh, good sir and a scholar and apparently a little bit of a german translator indie game hunt states absolutely beautiful even if all you do is walk left. That distorted cathode visual effect is great. Did the mouse ever get to fly? Well, I mean, does the mouse even want to fly? It seems like the mouse is only asking the question, why does it want to fly? Jelly gal, of course, of course, of course. I don't really get it. Is there perhaps a moral? I like the visuals and the mysterious atmosphere though. It's only a minute or two long. I'm not sure whether to recommend it or not. It's interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Because that's why we make games and pieces of work, right? Then because it's all interesting. I, okay. I don't like the visuals though. I like the atmosphere, but I don't like the visuals. And of course we got to go, I got to go to, because maybe, maybe there's some here. Maybe there's some on glitch wave. It's going to like blow the entire thing open. Going to make us understand like what we're missing. Or maybe just no one cares on this website as well. 1.95 out of five. So that's a four out of 10. 
two ratings. Oh, nothing. All right. <laughs> Five out of 10 and a six out of 10. There you go. Wow, that was, that was it. That was it. That was, that was real quick. Okay, whoa. That was quick this time. And you know what? Yeah, let's just get into the review because like, I, I'm not going to theorize anything more with German words. So for the mechanics, you just use arrow keys to move left and you win. Up and down, do nothing. Moving right, you're not supposed to. Just move left and you win. Easiest game I've ever played. Easier than Splodum Down version 2. Resource management, none. There's nothing you have to manage. You don't even have a life or stock. Fun. Uh, yeah, it gives you some thoughts. It gives you something to think about. To just if you want to entertain the thoughts uh, that is. Maybe for some people, like they'll they'll enjoy reading the Metal Gear Solid lore more than they enjoy thinking about this game. I mean, that's that's of course depends on it's up to you. Ease of use, yeah. It's like like I said, it's one of the easiest games I've ever played. You move left and then you win. So for graphics, it's just a drawn draft style. It feels like someone was drafting you know how to draw stars or butterflies and what was it a fly a bird a bee and the outline of a cow the tv itself was pretty realistic it seemed like it was a 480p image of a tv and as i kept saying i really did not like the flashing i really did not like the flashing crt effect it hurts my eyes it's up to you to think to to question if i'm being really sensitive or maybe there's a real problem there or Maybe I wasn't supposed to stare at it as long as I did. Because for a while there, I was just like saying random BS instead of actually playing the game. You know, I wasn't even looking at it sometimes. I was, like, I was just like looking away from it, to be honest. For, this, for the soundtrack, I would say it's a bit crushed ambient. Maybe something that you would kind of hear on volume beta of the Minecraft album. But I'm, I'm being like, I'm kind of exaggerating a little bit. Because that, that album has so many different styles on it. But... Think of it as uh, the the song "The End" on Beta a little bit. It's not the best the best comparison, but it's one. I also think that if anyone here is a real Joseph Anderson fan, this is one of like one of his themes has like a bit crushed instrument in it or part instrumental part in it. It reminds me of that. Like there's also a sort of like bit crushed or chip tune influence that you can hear on the Risk of Rain soundtracks by Chris Christodoulou, which I think is how you pronounce a Greek surname. That's my best comparison. And for sound design, there's basically nothing. I can't think of like, there was no walking sound. There was no sound made by interacting with the main animals in the story. Maybe there was uh, like the, the sort of white noise from the TV. Maybe I'll... I'll, br I'll briefly bring it up. There's some white noise, but I think that's just because it's like bit crushed sounds. Yeah, there's white noise. Yeah, you can hear it. So for the story, it's pretty much a mouse who is questioning about why they want to learn how to fly. A, I guess a mouse that has become self-aware about its desire, but does not does not understand where that desire is derived from. And I, I guess that's the writing. I mean, I, I can't tell you really if that's good or bad writing. I'm not that kind of, I'm not that experienced in writing. To me, I think it makes for like a pretty interesting perspective on uh, analyzing the desire of a character, right? A character wants to do something, but they don't know why. And then you kind of realize that they were programmed with that desire. Or, but like that, by extension, they're also programmed to understand that they were programmed with that desire, right? It's like the the, it's the, the mirror in the mirror. I don't know if um, mirror in the mirror means anything besides what I just said. I barely, um, I don't really understand what that story's about. But basically, what I wrote here, I think, is getting to it. Mouse has a desire to fly, but doesn't know why. Programmed to desire, programmed to desire flying, but not to know why it desires to... F no, hold on. Okay. The mouse has a desire to fly, but doesn't know why. Programmed to inquire why it desires to fly, which means it's been programmed to want to know why it wants to learn how to fly. Simple. Simple. Yeah. Why am I doing this? Why am I streaming? Why am I reviewing indie games? Is this game repetitive? No, unless you play it like I do, waiting for something new to happen. 
Yeah. But I think most people, they're going to play it once through and they're going to realize, oh, that's a, that's pretty much the end. Where does it stand in a wider scheme of all things gamer? I mean, it's just narrative exploration. I think that's like the quick and short of it. I don't know what else I could say. If you've, if you've played like Stanley Parable, this game is very much in line with that. Yeah. A little bit postmodern, maybe full on postmodern. Where does it stand amongst the work of the developer? I'm kind of, I'm going to repeat what I said. It's a follow-up of the narrative exploration of Sheep Goes to Space. And this is probably the most postmodern game that has been made by him so far. And I think that mostly wraps up where this fits. Sure, I'm sure, of course, there's always like something more you could squeeze out of it. But I think this is just the real quick and short of it. And of course, the question remains, why is a time herb insignificant and mad? What I'm guessing is the the timian it's either just like the misspelling of the word time or it is the name of the mouse being insignificant and crazy i'm i'm pretty if i recall correctly there was a time when the word when the word time was was meant as the concept of course of time but spelled as if it were the herb so yeah it's just like the german wife saying time but but it refers to the herb but it's like a sort of wordplay, which is actually meant to refer to the concept of time that we, we would uh, receive on our clock. Because I'm pretty sure the mouse doesn't have a name now that I think about it, because otherwise the mouse would be referred to time in. So, I don't know, insignificant and crazy time. Yeah, I could see that. Like, yeah, you know, like how sometimes you have a good time? Well, no, I had an insignificant and crazy time. Now, yeah, as best as, as I could come up with for this narrative exploration postmodern game. And with that said, I'm going to label this game as postmodern narrative exploration. So GG's good games. Yeah, that's all I got. Poof. <laughs>